As you can see, the garage is a little bit cleaner. Spent a couple hours doing this yesterday, getting everything. Then we used the air compressor to blow like all the dust out. Not all of it, there's still a good amount in here, but a good amount of it is gone now. And it's all on the car. You can kind of see, probably not though, but yeah, it's pretty bad. But we're cleaning it up, so basically we can, um, I bought a tool, it's in the center, to take off the windshield to like cut the molding by yourself and pull it out. And I'm going to try to pull out the front and rear glass, and then maybe I'll do the quarters today or tomorrow. Um, so I can finish painting the cage, um, clear coat the cage, and drill the pinch welds in the roof so I can peel the roof back and actually install this carbon fiber roof finally. So, you know, let's get to cleaning. Now I'm removing the back windshield molding. I finally got it out from the corner. Now I can kind of pull it all out. And then after that I got this really handy tool that you can stick in there and actually run along the edge of the glass with like a blade that you have to pull and then you should be able to pick it up out of there, hopefully.
So we actually got the windshield off now. Well, not off, but it's really loose now. We were using that other thing the whole entire time. The one with the little knife, but I only got maybe half of it. But then we just went to Harbor Freight and got that wire thing, which is the two handles where you have the super thin metal wire and you just run it through. Then one person pulls, another pulls, and you cut everything. You could probably close the trunk. I don't know. Yeah, we're actually gonna pull the glass off now. Touch the main power cable to the firewall again so this car can have power and I can actually start it and move it in the garage. So we connected the wire and now I'm actually gonna put the power wire on here. Or not the power wire, the ground wire. Oop yeah, definitely thing definitely has power. Oh lights working on me. Yeah, it's in the garage now. I literally had to use a suitcase as a seat and I was holding for dear life on this bar. I almost backed into the bumper over there. Hi hey, Rachel. <laughs> so we're probably uh we're probably gonna do this front windshield uh, tomorrow most likely. Or not tomorrow, Monday, Monday, yeah, because we're going to seaside tomorrow to see your family. Wild look, same thing. Ocean. So we're probably gonna do this Monday because it's Labor Day and she's off anyway. Because this is a two person thing to do the. So, yeah. That was a lot harder than I thought, but everyone makes it seem like you're gonna shatter this no matter what. Like it's really hard. And that thing is like perfect. No shatters, no cracks, no chips. Sadly, I'm not using it. This is all gonna be Lexan with two bars here. But whatever, maybe I can sell it. I don't know if people sell used glass, but. 
is the roof laying up top. Kind of give you a glimpse of how it will look. I mean, not really. Just subtract the sunroof. And then one, one last thing is that about the 3D render. Um, that guy that I said before, go follow his Instagram and comment on his stuff. He is making good progress. <laughs> Very calm. And basically we were, um, a lot of you said that the rear flares weren't wide enough, which is true. I think they were only like, was it 11? 11 centimeters wide? The front flares were 13 centimeters and the rear were 11 so centimeters. Um, so we made the rear 13 centimeters and it obviously looks a lot better. Um, he made so that the front bumper comes out, I think, something like 4 inches or 4.5 inches where the stock one comes out about 3 or 2.5 so it's a little bit extended but it's not like overbite extend. And so he's separating the pieces I believe today into the four flares in the front and rear bumper and then he's going to convert them to like a high poly I guess. I don't really know this stuff too well but it's almost like making it HD, adding more pixels almost to like a picture, making the curvature better and stuff like that. And then the guy, obviously, he works Monday through Friday, the CNC guy, um, and he's just going to buy foam, and then from there we can carry on, and then hopefully by the end of this week, they can either be shipped out or even in, in my possession, and then I can start making the actual negative molds and stuff like that out of them. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Monday.